A wonderful morning to all the plants lovers and enthusiasts uh, out there. We are looking at a philodendron subpinsicum. Uh, this is still a juvenile, very juvenile. You can see that the leaves are still a light green, as well as also floppy. Uh, it has not hardened yet. Uh, it came uh, just uh, two days ago and uh, there were a bit of a damage. Uh, you can see that uh, there's a little cut here as well as also some creases here and there because uh, it's been boxed in. And um, there is also a piece uh, torn from this uh, leaf, but uh, well, it doesn't matter too much because uh, as you can uh, see from this uh, angle, uh, there are two uh, shoots coming out from this uh, cutting, all right? And uh, more shoots are coming up from the heads. They have lots of roots. Uh, Aerial as well as also some of them has already rooted uh, with uh, more sub roots. Uh, I'm looking at this amazing uh, cutting. Uh, it is uh, we are looking at the four cm in diameter. All right, let me just place this uh, uh, measuring tape up here. All right, you can see that it is four cm and it is really really big. And I can't go into my regular. Uh, 15 cm pot, a round pot. So I got to get another pot, uh, which is a 18 cm, uh, a, a, a square pot. All right, it is 18 cm uh, per side, which uh, translate to about 24 to 25 cm uh, across diagonally. So this uh, cutting would be placed uh, diagonally, uh, diagonally, right into this uh, pot. Uh, I fill it up a uh, third with a uh, 100% cocoa chips as well as also Osmo coat, a slow release fertilizer. It will be 100% uh, cocoa chips, all right? So uh, back again to this uh, beautiful uh, plant. I expect it to uh, grow really huge into a giant uh, in the days and months ahead. Uh, it is already off to a good start, all right? Two heads here as well as also uh, be not good. Uh, fresh leaves and new shoots coming up from the heads. I'm going to pot it in and uh, let's uh, take a look at it uh, uh, later. The cutting is in the pot. Uh, it is resting diagonally because uh, it can't fit uh, lengthwise. It's resting on the bed of cocoa chips uh, raised uh, from the base uh, up to halfway uh, the height of the uh, pot or the depth of the pot. Uh, this is substantial uh, cocoa chips and uh, this would give the uh, roots a chance to uh, establish itself. As you can see that the roots is uh, going around uh, the pot as well as so, so, uh, under uh, the pot. I would uh, prefer this uh, cuffing uh, also to be uh, covered with uh, cocoa chips up to uh, the surface. I do not want to bury it because uh, you know, uh, it may just uh, give a bit of a, a problem of uh, a root rot or stem rot, uh, which I've experienced with other uh, cuttings and rhizomes. All right, it's going to be filled up with uh, cocoa chips soon. Well, that's it. It is done. You can see that the um, cutting is slightly exposed, which is good, at least to me. Well, let's take a look uh, as I turn this pot around. Uh, pardon the morning sun coming in. Uh, it's uh, giving a bit of a reflection on this uh, waxy uh, surface of these juvenile leaves. All right, philodendron subinsicum 